Welcome to number six of the series, Chinuch Babayis. Yeah, Chinuch at home. That's where the real test of who we are is being invited for us to pass. And it's an amazing opportunity at a time where the coronavirus is forcing us to be together at such a for such a long time. And that time is Dafka in the period of Purim till Pesach, which Rashi on the Davchav Tes in Tainus tells us that Misha Nichnas Adam Marabim Simcha means that it's not just we start increasing Simcha uh, 0 to 60, it means incrementally increasing Simcha all the way through till the end of Nisan. We don't say Tachnon, according to Machaba, the whole of Nisan. It's a Zman of amazing Simcha and Geula. And therefore, we're in our homes. And we're being tried for the greatest test of all, and that is to be besimcha be'esat tsara, to be besimcha when it's azmana of doichek, and that is what we mentioned last time that Mesilas Sharim offers in Perak Yutes, that the real mivchan, the true test of our ava for Hashem, is when we are going through difficulty. He quotes the the pasuk ve'afta et Hashem elokecha b'chol. With all your life, even when God takes our life, will we be basimcha? MS is emois. It's the same oishis. I will die. Everybody's going to die. Don't worry about dying because everybody has to eventually go. I don't mean that lightly. What I'm saying is the following. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants me to focus on death or focus on how we live. While we are alive. What memories are we leaving behind for our children? Our children are craving for mum and dad to be the references of reality. Of how to respond to adversity. How to respond to Eis HaTzara, Eis HaDoichek. And the, the biggest item which the Torah singles out as what I should be focusing on is Tachas HaShelayah Calamity or virus or, or magaifa would come because of my lack of enjoying being a from Jew. So how we say Asher Yatsar at home, how we say Birkas Amazon at home in front of our children, how we're davening in the morning with our children or on our own and then with our children, how we're saying Birkas Ananin, how we're counting Meir Brochas, how we're thanking our wives for... The hardship of making Shabbos and Pesach and running the home. How we are grateful when it's not easy. And one of the most amazing simple ways to do that is to go around the table every single meal. Especially now coming Yom Tov. And take turns starting with mom and dad. I love Hashem because I'm grateful to Hashem because. And list anything you want, the smallest to the largest. Uh, thank you, Hashem, we've got electricity. There's no blackout. Thank you, Hashem, that we've got our, each other. Thank you, Hashem, for taking care of mommy and daddy, grandpa, grandma, Zaidi, Bobby. Thank you, Hashem, for my lungs. Thank you, Hashem, for gravity. Yeah, when did you last pay a gravity bill? Thank you, Hashem, for my auction bill. Thank you for never sending me an auction bill. Thank you for everything. That is the power that we all have all the time. I'll call Nishima or Nishima. We're thanking Hashem for every breath. In every breath. And how we do that in front of our children, that is our Yerusha to our children. Chazal want us to die saying, I love you. And that's the meaning of a chol nafshecha, a filu noitel nafshecha. There's no getting away from it. That is the real tachlis achayim. To be misanik al Hashem, even b'shas ha and b'shas ha In that schus that we've got this amazing opportunity, almost 24-7 for several months, we should all be zaycha to much simcha in our homes, despite what's going on around us. And that will be our Yerusha to our children. And that's what we will show HaKadosh Baruch Hu, B'yayim Adin, I love you in Hashem. And I said thank you, even when it wasn't easy. Hatzlacha Rabbah.